Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about one of the questions that's been asked recently in an interview and it's been uh, told by one of our subscriber and I'm going to discuss about that question today in this video and this question is related to heap dump uh, so the dump and uh, you're going to see how to handle this scenario or handle the situation in answering the question so we'll see that in detail in this video and before we move on to this video this is me your son shanugam i welcome you all to our little Sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet like share your uh, share the video and ask any comments or questions in the comment section so let's now go to the question so the question here is uh, you are given a thread dump uh, from the application so, so the interviewer is telling you that you have a thread dump in your hand that's been extracted from the application server and you have to walk them through the approach to identify the potential bottlenecks and for any performance issues and what are the specific information would you extract from the thread dump right so you have got your thread dump and what are the specific information will you extract it from that and how would you interpret it and on top of it like what tools or techniques would you use to investigate and validate your findings so this question is asked to understand the candidate's capability uh, to know whether uh, the person can understand or whether he can interpret the thread dump or whether he can identify any performance bottlenecks or whether he can utilize the relevant tools and techniques for performance analysis or whether he can communicate his analysis approach effectively so these are the four reasons uh, the interviewer is asking this question to you so now let's move on to the answer and firstly i am going to approach this in a star model which is star approach which is situation task action and the result so the first part of it is the situation so what is the situation here so as an experienced performance engineer you as a performance engineer so you have encountered numerous scenarios uh, by for analysis for analyzing the thread dump that's been instrumental in diagnosing the performance issues in java based applications especially so thread dumps you know that it provides crucial insights into the state of the application threads and also it helps you to identify the potential bottlenecks and for any areas of optimization so that's the situation here so now let's move on to the task so what is a task that you have in front of you so the task here is in this scenario you have the reports which shows that there are like slowdowns and there are occasional timeouts in the java based web application during the peak load periods yes so you're running a load test and at the end of the load test you have got a thread dump that shows there are slowdowns and there are timeouts in the java based web application and your task is to analyze and capture the thread dump to pinpoint the underlying performance issues so that is going to be your task so now let's move on to the action so what are the actions you are going to do you have your thread dump in your hand and you are given a task so the first part of it is the analysis of the thread dump so you should start by thoroughly examining the thread dump and this involves identifying the states of each thread so normally we have uh, threads in three different states one is the running running state and one is the waiting and one is the blocked so you have to identify the states of all the threads and by understanding their call stakes to discern what threads are currently doing so what are, so you know that uh, we have our three states of threads and you, you must understand what each threads are doing right so that's the first part so you should analyze the thread down in, in the way you should start and then the second part is you must identify the potential bottleneck so you have to pay close attention to the threads which are in states such as waiting or blocked so we know that there are three states one is running waiting and blocked you can ignore the running for now and you must concentrate on the waiting and the blocked because they often indicate the contention points such as any logs or is there any resource constraints and on top of it you must look for patterns such as excessive garbage collection and thread pool saturation or for any database connection pool bottleneck so you have to identify the three patterns so let me reiterate it firstly you should look for any waiting or blocked threads and so so that you can understand whether there are any logs or whether there are any resource constraints and then once you have those information you must move to the next part which is the identification of patterns such as excessive garbage collection 
thread pool saturation or for any database connection pool bottlenecks. And then the third part is the root cause analysis. So based on the information extracted from the thread dump, you must proceed to perform a root cause analysis. And this involves correlating the thread activity with other performance metrics collected from the application server, such as your CPU uh, data and your memory usage data. And this will help you to gain a holistic approach or holistic understanding of the system's behavior. So by doing all this, you, you can do a root cause analysis because this will give you an idea on what exactly is happening right and then moving on to the last part of the action is your validation and further investigation so to validate your findings and to delve deeper into the root causes you must leverage the performance monitoring tools so if you have not been aware of java flight record or the jfr so please start to learn about it in fact i can make videos on them and you have your visual vm so in fact we have a few videos on that and i have discussed about the thread dumps in it so i have taken i have the video through some of the methods or some of the threads so you can just go through and watch it and then on top of it you have the other application performance monitoring tools like data trees we have uh, app dynamics so you must leverage these tools to validate your findings because these tools will provide you real time insights into the application's runtime behavior and they will allow you to collaborate your analysis from the thread dump and identify for any or additional optimization and opportunities. So that's the last point in the action. So now we'll move to the last part which is the results. So when it comes to results, so now you have got all your data so you start analyzing the thread dump and so you started analyzing your thread dump and you correlated its findings with other performance metrics and using all those data you can effectively diagnose the performance issues which are degrading the performance of the application and this approach will not only enable you to identify the root causes but it also will provide you actionable insights what to do for optimizing the application's performance and in turn it will ultimately enhance the user experience and mitigate for any future performance related incidents so by doing this you can effectively solve any performance issues with the thread dump data which you have in your hand so as i have already told you so you have your thread dump look for the threads look for the other uh, issues like the garbage collection for excessive memory usage for any connection pools. So these are some of the keywords which you must use in your interview to impress the interviewer. And on top of it, you must really understand what they really are, right? Because when you go into your organization, you must be ready to do all these. So you must have an understanding, a basic understanding of what all these are. And then finally, after doing all these root cause analysis and everything, you must proceed with your findings, with your investigations, and then you must come to the results section where you have to uh, approach all these and you must have to come up with the optimization plan to fix all these issues. Okay, so I think I have explained you the complete idea on what and how this scenario works. So with that, I come to an end and I will definitely come up with a follow-up video because while you answer this question, the interviewer will have a follow-up question from this. So in the next video, I will deal with one of the few of the other questions from this uh, points which, which I have discussed now. So if you are really interested to watch my next videos, please do subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos. So until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Masin Shanmugam and Little Slav.